M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. I have my 3D printed case from Zero Fox 3D, you can see there. And it's to house my Helltech version 3, which is running the new system called the R node. I'll show it running shortly. But first of all, let's try and assemble this. I'm going to show you the, the finished result. So this is from Zero Fox 3D. I'll put, I'll put the link in the description. So it's like a walkie talkie node and you'll be able to see the OLED screen on the top and have functional buttons at the bottom. So I have dug out a battery. It's quite a big juicy one, this one. I have got smaller batteries. There's the case. The first thing I'm seeing is that you get this, this head unit, sort of, it screws on top and you can see in there, it's actually metal in there, metal screw thread. So that's gonna go on there and then it's gonna give us that sort of walkie talkie look. So I'll, I'll assemble that and in, in the package comes an antenna, which I don't actually need, but I've got that. And then the bolts and even an Allen key. So that's very nice. Allen keys are always handy. We always lose Allen keys. And then of course you've got the lid and the underside. All, all good quality, you know, they, he doesn't make anything that's not good quality. So let's just put these bolts in. Now bear with me, if it's a bit boring, just fast forward. Um, so it's gonna place that, line it up. I might have to put one on first so it doesn't fall down. Okay, so we just put one in, because look, when you go like so, you can't get the, the back on. So the back slides on. We've got the front and the back. So the back does slide on like so, so that's quite, self-explanatory okay the USB-C will eventually poke through there the front before we put it together looks to me like it does just push into place look the front and the bolts when they go down they will catch I think they'll catch it here as well you can take out the front just by pushing from the inside and it just comes away so, the, the next trick is to make sure we can get the antenna in there, yeah, um, and line everything up as well, and still be able to put on the case. So that's the tricky bit. I'm sure it's doable. So let's grab my board. You'll see that the board has like a, a groove at one end, and then you've got USB-C at the other end. So we know which way round it goes. Let's just poke that in. I'm just worried a bit about the antenna at the moment, how I'm going to connect it. Like so we also need to be wary of the, of the battery connector there. Of course we have USB-C, but if you want it to charge up. So let's just put that in place like that for now and clip on the front. Makes sense to add the antenna. I'm going to, I'm going to use the con antenna connector that he gave me. It looks the same, but just to be, you know, I'll put the antenna connector there and just clip that into place. That's clipped in. Now let's clip, I don't see that I need to get to this side anymore. So I'm gonna clip in this, and just push it into place. Like so. We've got our buttons. Right, so the next thing, antenna-wise, I'm still able to turn this. We do have a nut and a bolt here, so let's remove one. Is it always sensible to have the second washer on the outside? Let me know. So I'm just going to poke that through there. So the lesson learned is to come through here first, then connect here. Make sure that clips on nicely. Then push this into place. As you can see, I'm being it's very fiddly for me, but we are gonna have to tuck that back inside, I feel. 
and then we can then screw that down. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. We can put this cover on as well. Fiddly, but it's fun fiddling. So let's clip this on. Let's sort of keep it in place. Like so. Clip that. I'm trying to clip it. I don't want to break anything. Okay, so we've got that in place, like so. Yeah, it's quite solid. I could put a screw on there, but I don't know if I need it. But anyway, buttons, screens there, all lined up. We put one of the silver Allen key bolts in. We'll grab the other one, like so, and thread that in. And then you. Zero Fox do sell a sort of flexi 868 megahertz antenna. And of course, if you want to get some decent connections on this, get out and about, you're not going to get it at home. Right, okay, we're on that. Yeah, it looks really nice. It could be mesh tastic, you don't have to use R node on this. It's a bit walkie talkie style. So I've got this antenna here, I've got loads of these antennas that I use on my hotspots. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Like that, so I'm I am going to fit the battery, but let's just quickly fire it up. I did uh, make a video loading up our note. Look at that! Come on. So it does have to pair to the to your smartphone for it to come to life, and then you've got your own node. You can communicate. You can send. Apparently, well, I've seen the videos um, by Andy where you can send photographs and messages and that. So we'll, I'm going to make some videos on that as well. So the, all I've got to do now is get a battery in there. So I've got this battery here. Let's see if, because I've, I've got smaller batteries, but if that does fit in there, otherwise I'll just grab my smaller one and uh, and then put the back on. Yeah, so it looks like it will fit. It's a bit of a tight squeeze I've done for myself, but it does fit even though that the, the head unit is on. It does still slide on, which is good to know. I'm just gonna just I'll just check and then it even went in there. I've got some tape here. I'm gonna take that tape off. It might buy me a, a millimeter. And then just so you know, the connector is is just here, just there. Just get it the right way around. It only goes in one way, and you can tell by the the grooves on it. Right. So there's the. Just gonna zoom in so you can see which way round it went, okay. Let's look closely at the grooves. Right, well it's already come to life if, with the battery. So that battery has held its charge for months. So now the idea is I don't want to skag any wires. So get this back in there. I did manage to get that tape off, like so. And slide on the case. And even though I've been pressing quite hard on this, it, not once has it felt like it would break. So I need to just get this the right way round. Let's say, oops, let me just look at the photographs. Ah, oh, that's going on there. Just trying to make sure it's the right way round, although it's not going to slide on properly. So what I'm seeing is that to slide it all the way down, it's catching on here. So I'm just going to have to undo those two screws there and then push that all the way down. So there you are, I've undone it. We'll push it down and then just put it back on. But yeah, it feels really solid. There you go. Wow, I like that. That is smart, you know. So, of course, you don't have to run the R node. You can run... Fantastic, and I like I like the tiny GS system, but I do like that. That is smart. So um, let's just fire up my R Node app. Remember, you do need really the correct antenna because this is a seventy centimeter one, but you would need one that's correct for eight six eight, and they tend to come with these kits, don't they? And of course, R Fox sell, and they even sell a belt clip as well. Uh, I forgot, I literally just forgot to click that. 
So maybe he, he'll post me one out and I can show you that and any other accessories. Um, but thank you very much. Let's fire up my app. There's a belt clip and you can get a lanyard as well. And as you can see there, very nice antennas, which I wish I got now. <laughs> anyway, antennas, uh, you can see the frequencies. So here's the app. It's actually called Sideband. So I'm just trying to think now. So we connect, we should get a code to connect. Come on then, pair devices. Done. Now I just pressed this button here, just, which turns on the Bluetooth. So watch my setup video, my firmware loading video. I can see a signal there now. And you basically, you announce yourself that you're on the system. Let's get that back. Like so where's the announce sent? People know. There's my no details. Conversation. See what's happening here. Conversations, nothing at the moment. Map there as well. We've announced telemetry. What's all that? Uh, I, I, as you can tell, I've, I've got to learn about this, really. Um, but, you know, the video I made installing it was actually very thorough. So hopefully that'll help you. Bye for now, 73. Thanks to zerofox3d.com for their amazing cases. And there are many. Bye for now.